Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a, um, just a quick little demo of something that, um, you can use as, uh, backgrounds or ATC cards or anything, you know, your art journal, mixed media, whatever you want. I have a piece of, uh, mixed media paper here. And what I did was I took a stencil, as you can see, and I used white paint. Now you can use gesso, you can use Mod Podge, you can use white school glue, anything for uh, this base stencil. Um, if you use your Mod Podge or school glue, you know, you want it to be uh, fairly thick so it doesn't, you know, run through underneath so you have a crisp stencil. If you want a crisp stencil, if you don't, then don't worry about it. So if you're using white school glue is fairly thick on its own, but Mod Podge, you just want to do a little bit at a time. Um, I used a makeup brush, but you can use whatever you want. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add some color and I'm using again, my <clears throat> Dina Wakely paints. I'm using lime. I'm using turquoise. Magenta, but you use whatever, um, whatever paint you have, you know, whatever you, colors you want. Um, I don't know. Do I have the rest of mine sitting here? I have quite a few of these colors, but I always seem to go to, towards the, uh, you know, let's do some orange, the same ones. Here's, here's orange. And that's, that's all I'll use right now. And you can use a makeup sponge. You can use, you know, your paintbrush. I'm just gonna use my paintbrush today. Let's see. I'm gonna use a little bit of the green. And I just want to like swipe. Use a little bit of the blue. I don't want it to mix too much, but I'm going to take my damp rag. You can use, you know, paper towel or whatever, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to rub where that stencil is. And you can see how that's coming through. Now you can use glossy if you want. You can use a gloss mod podge, collage podge, whatever you have, um, and that'll work even a little better and give you, I don't want it. I want it subtle. I don't want it so much coming through, but, um, you can do, you know, whatever way you want. So I'm going to take some magenta and you can water it down a little bit if you want, if you want it to more of a watercolor look, right? Clean off my brush and should clean my water. That's probably part of the problem. And then you can see I'm going around. Okay. Now I'm going to take more of my rag. Look at that. Look how pretty it's coming up. So you just keep playing. Um, let's do a little bit more blue. Let's do a little more blue in here. Now a tip, I'm going to tell you, let it dry before you add more colors if you want it not to uh, get a brown to it, right? Um, I'm going to do a little bit more green right here. I'm going to rinse my brush and wet it. I don't want it soaking wet. I just want it damp. And add it here. And I'm going to pull some of it out to break up some of that. And I don't like like how it's so straight here. So I'm gonna, I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. It's freezing. But anyway, I'm gonna just kinda rub it like this. So it blends. Now I'm going to dry it.
Okay. Wipe it a bit. Look how cool so far. Look at that. And that's just your white paint underneath. Again, you can use Mod Podge or whatever. Any white paint will do. Can I rinse my brush again? Now you can see how this would be great for a um, great for a uh, ATC card or if you use a smaller stencil or whatever. Now I'm going to take some water and I'm going to spray it just once around. And I'm going in with the colors again, except I'm going to go in with blue and green first since that's what I started with. I'm going to do some blue and I'm just going to kind of wipe it in and kind of use my brush. I do use my brushes, uh, abuse them, I guess I'll say, but you know, I mean, you get great, great colors. A little bit of green. And you can run that right there. So it kind of helps the, uh, pink down here and if it's too pink for you why are you, you know wet your brush just that little bit more make sure you rinse your brush now this isn't where i want it to i don't want to dry in between because i want it to um you know blend now See how I have it a little darker down here? All you have to do is take your water bottle or a wetter brush, whatever, give it a squirt. And then you can kind of blend it a little bit more if you want it. And, you know, if you want to rinse your brush, add a little bit more. I think I want a little more pink on top here just to kind of run it through. I don't care if it turns purple, you know, because it's going on top. You see what I'm doing here? A little more blue, whatever you want. Then what I'm going to do is take my rag and wipe. Don't be afraid to turn your paper either. Okay. Now this might be a little harsh for me, so I'm just going to take my brush and see if I can lift any more of that. I'm just putting some water. Now I can put a little green on there to maybe add a little more in there. Okay. Nope. Whoops. Smeared my orange. Hey, what is it if you don't walk around with paint all over you? Then you're not painting, right? <laughs> so I want a little darker there. Uh, I think I'm going to add straight blue. So I'm going to dry my brush off. I don't want it to be wet. And I'm going to just go in a little bit and brush it. So it kind of takes, see how I'm just kind of going over it? Just so it cuts a little bit of that back. It's pushing the color to the back, the magenta, which is what I want. I don't want it so much. Now, an obsession of mine. I mean, look how cool that looks. Great. That's a great background. That's a bad, great whatever. But an obsession of mine lately is dry brushing. So I'm going to pick another brush just because that one's wet and this one's just going to be dry. And I'm going to take a little bit of white, believe it or not, just a smidgen. Now you can use whatever color you want. Um, if you want to use, you know, a darker blue or magenta, whatever you want. And let me see, let me show you. Okay, so my camera shut off, so here we are again. Okay, so you can see I have a little bit of white here. I have this, I have a dry brush, and I'm gonna just dip it in, and then I'm gonna wipe a lot of it off. Cause I don't want it too, you know, I don't want it dark. 
and I'm just going to lightly take it and just dry brush it. Especially over here where it's not, I'm not happy with it. You see how I just went over it with a little bit of the white and it's just going to add a little bit of something. It just gives it, to, I don't know. I just, I just love it. You don't have to do this part. Now, if you go over it and you think, oh, I might've done it a little too much. Let me show you. And I, I really, I hold it up here and I'm just like, girl, look, let me just do this. Let me see. I just like the way it looks. Again, you don't have to do it. Um, and you can just go with your, if you don't, if you think it's too much or you keep putting it in the color like I do and you just kind of go in there. So this is where I'm going to stop. Oh, this green eye hair. But you see, look at that nice and pastel and gorgeous. And then you can see your stencil underneath and you can use letters and make you know do whatever you want um and then you can even go in with your uh black marker permanent marker or any color that you want to use uh and go around and you know uh, outline your stencil if you want you could put your stencil back on it if you want and then go in an outline if you uh don't trust yourself so to say to uh you know do it let me see here i think this yeah, this is the stencil that I used. So I would put it back on where you can see where it matches everything. And then you can go in with, let's see what do I got here. Now you can go in with a, uh, I'm going to do dark because we're on here, but you can go in with your uh, Stabilo or water soluble pencils or whatever, you know, whatever you have. And make it you know really cool so i'm just going in and you see how you can go in and uh well it didn't connect it here make sure you okay and you can go in and trace all around and make it stand out more if you want i don't happen to want that or like it so before this dries of course i'm gonna Go like this because that's how I do it and get the majority of that off if you if you do it and you don't like it okay so I'm just putting water on there I'm not worrying about it this is acrylic paint so it's not uh you know like it's watercolor going to be reactivated and then I can always go in with you know other colors that I want to go in with let's say I want to do that and you just play you could put some water on that and then I can go over it with a little bit of the white if I want and blend it in and push it to the back. Now you can see when I add a little water on my finger and I go in here, I can add water and paint and white paint and I'm going to go around here and what I'm going to do just in the middle so I can show you I'll give it a wipe and you can see those come through a little bit more so that's always good so yeah so that's that. Um, and like I said, you can do this on ATC cards. You can do this in your art journal. You can do it in so many different ways. You can do this. And if you're not digging it, cut it up for a mixed media background. Um, you know, all, all kinds of stuff you can do. Uh, I love it. Like I said, I, I, I love doing these bright colors, but I also love doing um, uh, darker colors and that kind of thing. So, you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to wipe that down just a little bit. And my brush isn't clean. It got that pink on there, but that's all right. See how I'm pushing it back with the white. 
so it's not as bad. So that's it. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not already, please subscribe. The subscribe button is down below and click the uh, bell next to it for the notifi notification so you can get notified when I upload a new video. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and share it to everywhere. And if you do this, all my information is down below. You can find me everywhere. Please email it to me or tag me or uh, what have you. Um, so I can see what you guys do because I love seeing what you guys do and I will see you guys in my next video And remember as always, please be kind to each other You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys